know what they doing upstairs, but it's giving step show vibes. It's so loud. Like, please y'all, I'm trying to film. <laughs> back with another video if you are new here welcome and if you are returning hey girl hey make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe like this video and turn your bell notifications on so you know when i post so y'all today we are doing another get ready with me i'm about to go to the movie so i'm like you know i just hop on the camera and get ready like you did last time you guys seem to enjoy the last one that i did so i'm like you know let's do it again so i've already done my eyebrows and i've already moisturized y'all already know my favorite moisturizer skin glass by north face i like live by this stuff i love it so much but yeah so what i'm gonna do next is go in with my milk hydro grip so put that on so y'all i'm going to the movies tonight my esthetician is um she created this super cute event where she ran out of theater for her clients so we could go see that movie zola if y'all are not familiar with zola it's based on this like ratchet behind <laughs> twitter thread from back in the day it's like two strippers i don't remember it like verbatim but it was like two strippers get caught up in like tampa i think or something like that with this pimp and like it was just this like crazy 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 story like one of the first like stories to ever really go viral on twitter and so there's like a movie for it and i really cannot wait to see it y'all i'm so excited but um yeah so that's what i'm gonna go see tonight i'll try to like find the link to the thread the original thread and put it in the description box in case you don't know what i'm talking about but i remember how ratchet it was like it was just like oh, entertaining though but i was like what the heck only in florida but um yeah so letting the hydro grip kind of set in i'm gonna talk a little bit about my hair y'all so y'all know i got a silk press maybe at this point it's been three weeks i've been holding on to this silk press like i don't want to let it go because i just i manage my hair so much better when it's straight versus when it's curly um so we are now at ponytail stage because it's too oily and too greasy to be like hanging straight down so but i have like little sideburns that like these little sideburn pieces that go with like my edges and they were straight but now they're curly so I know it don't quite match because I got a, like a straight ponytail and like curly little wispies on the side but I don't want to flat iron them so it is what it is I'm gonna go in with some foundation this is the NARS soft matte Georgia just can't let me be great, y'all. Like, I can't I can't do nothing without this dog barking and, like, making noise. Like, she just got to be seen, got to be heard. <laughs> I'm only going to put on a little bit. I say that, and then it turns out to be, like, more than a little bit. But it's okay. So, y'all, let's talk a little bit. We are almost at 600 subscribers, right? which I am so excited about because I remember like not that long ago, I was like, y'all, we're almost at 300. We're almost at 500. So to be like so close to 600 is just really like exciting to me. Like I'm so, so grateful for y'all. Like y'all have no idea, <laughs> no idea. Because like I said in my last Get Ready With Me, um, I've been on YouTube for a while or you know, like three years or whatever. I think it's been three years. And I just wasn't consistent with it or really inspired to be consistent with it. So I wasn't doing what I was supposed to do as far as like keeping up with content and like creating and like building like a genuine audience on here. But now that I'm back and I'm doing it, like y'all have made this such a safe space. YouTube is genuinely like my favorite platform to like post on. So thank y'all for that. I did a giveaway when I hit 500 um, and that went well. So I'm excited to do my next giveaway will probably be at 1000 subscribers. That's like, that's like my end of the year goal. Like I want to be able to achieve that. I kind of want to do it by my birthday. Like my birthday is in October. I don't want to be like, am I reaching thinking that I can like make it to a thousand subscribers by October, but 
I might be able to. You never know. Like, your girl is over here working hard. Um, I have my friend, Maja. She's, like, an influencer um, manager and strategist. She helped me create, like, a strategy for myself so I can keep up with all of my ideas and, like, get on, like, top of, like, my content so I'm not just, like, posting unintentionally. And so I'm looking forward to, like, executing that and seeing, you know, how it works for me. So far, it's been dope. Maja is everything. I'm like a beta client right now, so I ain't gonna put her out there too much <laughs> until she's ready, but shout out to you, Maja, because you have helped me and I appreciate it. But um, yeah, it's been, it's, it's going well so far. Like this is really exciting. Um, I had got into this like really weird creative blog so I guess we're gonna go into a bit of a story time. So last year, y'all, when we went into quarantine, um, I wasn't creating content for myself, like personal stuff for like me, Janae Barbary, um, cause I'm a social media manager. So I was like handling like most of my clients work and all of that. But I do have another platform. It's called Creative Girl Hangout and I started like going really heavy on creating content for that. It's like kind of um, graphic based. I'll put a screenshot of our account over here on the side. And my really good friend Tiana was like helping me keep up with that, with like managing the account. And it started to like grow um, a lot faster than what I like had planned for. And then like when the Black Lives Matter stuff kind of like went down heavy, heavy last year, I don't know, like I, I just for some reason felt burnt out with it. And it was hard for me to like create content for it. And I think it was because like I didn't want to be, um, I've already wet this, but I'm just gonna spray it with my MAC Fits Plus. This is my favorite one. It's like Magic Radiance. Let me show y'all. It's really, really pretty, the packaging. I'm a, I'm a sucker for packaging. So yeah, if you hear me be like, this is so pretty, cause it is pretty, but I love the packaging on this. It has vitamin C, um, also has something else I can't pronounce. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put it on the, uh, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm just gonna spray my, uh, beauty blender with it. this beauty blender y'all this beauty blender is everything it's black owned if you guys are familiar with um dark skin makeup daily they have like a shop and this beauty blender is a part of it so i got two of them i got this marble color and i also have it like in um in all like mauve color um where was i i think i was saying like the black lives matter movement i just felt burnt out because i was dealing with that on my own and then I didn't want to be like forced to post um, content about it because it was like, like I'm black, right? Like that's pretty obvious. But it's like having to create content about your own people's like struggle at the time. It just didn't seem right. Like I didn't want to be capitalizing off of what, um, what we were going through in the world and like what our culture was going through. It just didn't seem right. And I got kind of like creatively burnt out because I felt I felt pressured to like I put up content about like sources to um, sources to contribute to the cause. I put out information, but in doing all that research and like I don't know, it just didn't it just didn't feel right. And also like I was honestly mourning. Like I think Breonna Taylor's death is what really like bothered me the most. Not the most, I won't say like hers is more important or was more impactful than any of the others. It's just that Brianna and I are the same age. We're both black girls. Like she could have easily been my sister. She could have been my cousin, my friend, like anything, you know, it just, it doesn't matter if she was related to me or not. Um, It just really like hurt me. Like it really hurt me. And I was reading, she, her family did like some sort of interview for like Cosmo, I think it was. It was either Cosmo or Essence, some publication. And I was just, you know, reading about, reading about her life and I just, I really couldn't take it. I just did not want to be on social. Um, so, but I knew that I had created a, a, a platform 
that was so close to black girls like when you if you guys get a chance to look at creative girl hangout you'll see the kind of like content i was creating for creative girl hangout is it's for black girls like i'm i don't have a problem saying that like it's for it's for us like it's for the stuff that we don't get to see often um in a creative and like cool way so when i i knew i had that responsibility to speak about these topics but me personally i was just like man like i'm not ready <laughs> i don't know it was difficult at the time but um i'm not there anymore y'all my lash is like she don't want to be here so i'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> brush her out let me see oh yep that's the one thing about lash extensions is, is it still on the spoolie Okay, it's not on the spoolie no more. The one thing about lash extensions is that they are great, they are gorgeous, and they're super convenient. But they're gonna shed, okay? So, yes, you wake up and you are like, you feel automatically pretty. <laughs> yes, it takes like that step out of your makeup routine where you have to otherwise put on um, like a lash strip or mascara. But also, <laughs> Them things gonna shed <laughs> so I'm about to set under my eyes with um, my minted uh, setting powder I think I put too much but it's fine <laughs> okay so where was I going with this conversation yeah so the black lives matter movement came along and it just I took like a, a break from social media as a whole because I just didn't want to be forced to create while I was dealing with that, um, you know? So now that I'm, I had, you know, now that I'm back creating content and I'm doing it in this manner instead, as far as like content creation goes for YouTube, blogging, creating content more centered around my life, it may be like, it may give me a better outlet um, as far as like actually creating while things happen, because I'm able to, talk directly to some people within my community that I built. I'm getting a phone call. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But regardless, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be making content again on YouTube. And I am going to um, work on Creative Girl Hangout again. I'm actually in the process of getting like official branding done for it so that I can do some other things with it that I'm excited about, like merch and um, get back to events and since the world is open again, all that stuff. So yeah, but I'm about to contour a little bit, y'all. I'm still learning how to contour. So um, I'm using NARS, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Same like is this, I'm just using a darker shade. This is the color chocolate, so. Maja told me, y'all, Maja be teaching me how to do my makeup and stuff. Um, but she just told me three little dots. So I just do the three little dots there. And then blend it. Where is my, this is the blush. Super, super light. Whew. But yeah, y'all, when Creative Girl Hangout started to grow, it was so exciting. Like, cause I was like, oh my God, look at my, look at my community growing. And I was making like all the content on that page, every piece of content, like the graphics, um, as far as the graphics go. Now the other stuff you guys will see on that account, they're like reposts. Let me just tell you the strategy. So what Tiana and I would do, we would choose a color. And we would say the next nine to 12 posts have to be like this particular color. So for instance, we say orange. So she'd find a bunch of like dope pictures of black girls wearing orange, doing things around orange things, um, orange nails, orange outfits, whatever, orange, right? And then like I would go and base the, like, the content off of like what was happening in the month. So say if it was like, I don't know, National Pizza Day. I would then go create a graphic about National Pizza Day and the base colors would be orange. So it's like we would we would go off after choosing the color, do what we needed to do for the content and then come together and I would like curate the feed based off 
that. So it was like really, really fun to do actually. Like we would pick colors, we would do themes, we would do all kind of stuff. Um, and it wouldn't just be like, oh, it's National Pizza Day with a picture of some pizza on an orange background. It would be like an interactive game, like a this or that, or like a bingo, or sometimes I would do giveaways. I've done some dope giveaways with Creative Girl Hangout. Like, it's it was like, it was lit. Like, it was a good time, for real. Um, You know? So, I miss creating for Creative Girl Hangout, and our audience misses us. Like, they be telling me, I be getting DMs like, hello. But I needed a moment, y'all. Like, I, I needed a moment. And I also didn't want to keep just, like, keep putting content out without, like, intent. And I don't want to be like, I'm just unintentional. It was just, like, for the sake of posting, I was just posting these curly cues. Like, I got to do something with them. I was just posting for the sake of posting at one point. And I was just like, okay, what's the message here? I really want to be able to, like, be authentic in this. So... You know, I just wanted to scale back a little bit, but let me see. So y'all, I am literally doing my makeup in what I'm wearing tonight because this neckline, I knew I wasn't going to be able to like do makeup and then take it off. <laughs> so that's why y'all see me if I'm, if I look like I'm trying to be super careful because I'm clumsy. I don't want to um, spill anything or get anything on this dress. Cause it is orange it is bright and i i just it's cute i like it i don't want to get nothing on it <laughs> let me get this powder from under my eyes this fenty beauty mirror is honestly so clutch you know what for my next giveaway i may give away this mirror i know i gave away a chanel mirror the first time but like all the things that make me happy and the things that I love is just the things that I want to be able to like introduce you guys to from my perspective and that's what I want to be able to give away. And I do have two so maybe I'll do like a set or I'll give one away to one person and give one away to the other person. Drop um, the mirror emoji in the comments below if you think that that's a good idea. If the next giveaway should be the Fenty Beauty mirrors because I like them. <laughs> I like both. So we're kind of almost done. Um, what am I gonna do next? Oh, I'm gonna do some blush. I'm using the same blush I used last time, which is the Minted Peach for the Stars. And I'm using this because I'm wearing orange, so I might as well kind of keep the theme fruity, even though it ain't fruity. <laughs> but fruity and bright. Have you guys tried orange blush? Because I, I see like some black girls using it and I'm like, ooh. I want that. And I don't mean to just be like, I see black girls using it. That's not what I mean. It's just that it looks amazing on our skin. Like, literally on all complexions. But the peach does what it needs to do for me for now. So, I'm trying my best not to just be like out here buying more makeup when I haven't like used the things that I already have because that's literally like my problem. I have so much stuff because I just be buying stuff without finishing what I already have. So, I'm trying to get better at that. Um, however, what I am going to get this weekend, um, Fenty Beauty is releasing that new body scrub. Let me see what the name of it is because... I think it's like Buff Rider or something like that, but I literally need it in my life. I, I just ran out of exfoliant a couple days ago and I was like, I'm not gonna buy any more because I wanna buy this one. Yes, the Fenty Buff Rider, it just, <laughs> it's just giving me vibes. Like, look at that. I love a good like exfoliant. Like, oh, I use exfoliant every day. I know some people be like, you're not supposed to exfoliate every day, but I exfoliate every day. Um, when I, like once a day though, when I take a shower. Like two days out of the week, I use this um first aid beauty bump eraser. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. It's literally like my favorite product. I have bumps on my arms sometimes, and I get like back knee. So like I try I, I tried that out and I was like, oh my gosh, like it works so well. So like if you deal with like back knee or just like textured skin on your body, I highly recommend that first aid beauty um bump eraser. Like it's lit. 
So, God dang, I'm kind of done. Now I gotta do highlight and I gotta do something on my lips and I gotta put some bridal mascara on. But that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face again with the Fix Plus Radiant, uh, Magic Radiant. So let me see. Uh oh, I locked it. So yeah. I know it's wet, but it's gonna dry. <laughs> and it's gonna keep me like, you know, in place. I'm just using this paper towel to wipe the makeup off the back of my hand. So, um, I've been vlogging this week and I mentioned in my vlog that um, I tried this new lip balm on Friday and it kind of irritated my lips. So, I'm probably just gonna do like this um, lip balm tonight, the Laneige one, instead of putting on like lip gloss or anything. Although I really want to, I really want to put on that butt some lip gloss, but I just, I don't know, I need to give my lips a break, try to figure out what's um, what's going on. They just feel extremely dry and extremely chapped and they just look irritated to me. And I know it's that lip balm from the other day because literally y'all, when I tried it, my lips started to tingle immediately. I wiped it off and I was like, I'm just not gonna use this no more. So we just gonna excommunicate that. I ain't using that no more. Do I want to do, okay, let me do my highlighter first and then I'll go back in with mascara. So, do, 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 get my highlighter brush. I'm using the minted um, Sunkissed palette again and y'all already know, I just, <laughs> literally do that and just, you know, place it on my cheek wherever I want it to go. I keep saying that one day I'm gonna get like, serious about learning how to do my makeup but like I'm okay with just this like it's okay I'm okay <laughs> the other thing about lashes you are, like not you I don't want to I don't want to put that on you but me I feel like there is literally always something in my eye there's like something in my eye right now always I don't know if it's because like my lashes like catch things probably so I don't know if you get lashes <laughs> let me know in the comments below if there's like always something like just in in your eyes yeah so we didn't bronze today because I contour I either like to do one or the other because when I do both I just be like it just seems to be a lot, but yeah, I'm just going in with some better than sets on my bottom lashes. Why do I low-key feel like this is not making a difference? Like, here we go again, literally always. It's always the same eye. I always get mascara on my skin under the same eye. At this point, it's just a part of my brand. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got like a glob of mascara like on my lower lash line. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip balm. I lost the applicator to this. I'm kind of upset because I normally don't like to put my finger in it, but it's fine. It's mine, it's, it'll be okay. But this is the, the Laneige Sleeping Mask in Sweet Candy. I think this one is a limited edition version, but you know, I think all of them are pretty good, but this one just, it just smells so good and it's pink. <laughs> I had to have it, but yeah. You know what I just decided I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna go to Morphe this weekend and I'm gonna buy like a really tiny little brush to start applying like products in a pot to my uh, face because I normally don't, I don't mind like these, these, this is my stuff. These are my hands and they're clean. It's not like I'm just like some dirty girl, 
but I just don't really like to put my hands directly inside of stuff if I don't have to because I just don't want any bacteria or anything to like transfer but yeah so looks like the oh the curly cues are just gonna stay the way that they are because it's not really much I can do at this point but yes yeah, so I'm gonna um grab my shoes y'all I'm wearing sneakers tonight I'm so excited to be wearing sneakers because I don't feel like wearing heels um not to the movies anyway I mean you can but I'm going out with like my girls you know so you just want to be cute and comfortable well, dang, you can wear heels on girls' nights, too. I don't know. I'm, I'm a heels and sneakers girl, but tonight I'm just I'm just feeling like sneakers, okay? So let me get the shoes I'm wearing. I'm going to show y'all because this is my first time wearing them, and I am so excited. They're so pretty. <laughs> okay, so these are Nike Prestos. I got them in a size extra, extra small. I guess Prestos come in like lettered sizes. I didn't know that because I have another pair of Prestos, but I don't recall them being like extra small. I feel like they were like, I don't know. Anyway, child. So I got these from Wish here in Atlanta. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at these. They are so, so pretty. And they just like remind me of like, the summer sunset like look at the bottom <sighs> obsessed <laughs> but yeah the back is kind of what got me I love how that orange Nike check is like encapsulated maybe encapsulated but yeah like I just I just love these shoes and y'all Prestos are so comfortable like if you know you know okay I have one other pair they're all black but these are just like such pretty, <sighs> the colors. I'm not even like big on colors, but if they're put together properly and nice, like, and y'all purple is my favorite color. Um, so there's that, even though I love pink, purple is my favorite color. So like the purple on here is gorgeous. The orange, the blue, the, uh, the everything, these like white laces, like, I just you know um so yeah I'm gonna wear those and then I'm probably just gonna carry like oh I thought I broke my nail I'm probably just gonna carry my little tin pouch I think it's out there and then of course I'm gonna bring a jacket because it'd be cold in the movie let me show y'all my jacket I got this jacket from Zara and I just like love the cut of it I'm gonna put it on so y'all can see. It's a little acid wash, which which I don't really like because I'm not a fan of acid wash, but I needed like a spring summer denim jacket. So I was like, let me get something that's like light wash and like cropped and like cute. So I'm gonna put this on so y'all can see what I mean by the cut of it. Like look at how like big and like boxy. Like I just, I'm obsessed. I love it. And it's so crazy because when I got it, I asked my best friend for her opinion and she ended up having the same exact jacket. And I'm like, oh my goodness, we always have like the same stuff. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna just throw this jacket on. Of course, I'm gonna show y'all in the little full body mirror, like the whole look. But basically, this is the jacket. Like, if you can see, I think y'all can see. I think y'all can see. <laughs> The cut of it is just like everything. So yeah, let me put my shoes on, get my perfume, get my bag, and then I'm gonna show y'all like the whole look, okay? I'll be right back. So this is the little pouch I was saying I was gonna carry. I probably have too much stuff in it, but this little um, tan pouch by Coma de Garçon, or CDG, however you wanna say it, but this is from Essence. I'll put a link to it in the description box if I can find it. But this is a really cute alternative from, um, my Louis Vuitton little clutch. It's a toiletry bag, but I use it as a clutch because I always carry it and I was like, I need to give it a break before it starts to like mess up or something. But that's why I got this one. So I love it. I don't know what they doing upstairs, but it's giving step show vibes. It's so loud. Like, please y'all, I'm trying to film. <laughs> anyway, so I also put on this like purple ring 
to kind of like tighten the purple from the sneakers. Is it gonna focus? Yeah, little crystal ring on my thumb. And then I have on like my little Daniel Wellington watch. I am in the market for a new watch, y'all. But something like affordable, like I'm not trying to buy a Rolex. Okay, so if y'all are aware of any like <laughs> good, um, excuse me, watch brands, put it in the description box below because your girl is looking. Perfume for the night is the Daisy Marc Jacobs Oh So Fresh. This one I love because my grandma actually gave this to me. Now I can show y'all the full look. Um, now that I have like all my details and stuff together. So let's go to the tiny, the tiny big mirror. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so part in the lighting, but here we are in the tiny mirror. So here is the top of the dress, and then yeah, that is so cute together, like adorable. <laughs> but yeah, so this is how it looks without the jacket on. I'm gonna put the jacket on so you guys can get like the look of this outfit with the jacket. All right, so here is the jacket. So this is what I was saying about the cut of it. I just think it's like real cute. I wish I could turn around so y'all could really, really see. But yeah, so this is my look for the night with that pouch, like I was saying. I also threw my anklet on. Yeah, but um, y'all, I love like, I feel like one of the easiest ways, let me sit down and say this, hold on. What I was saying is I think one of the easiest, oop. <laughs> I think one of the easiest ways to style sneakers and keep everything like feminine and girly is to like pair them with like dresses and like other like girly dainty like articles of clothing. So one of my favorite ways to wear sneakers is honestly with dresses like word to Tracy Ellis Ross. She does it so well. I'm gonna try to find some pictures to put up of her, maybe like two of just how well she styles like sneakers with dresses because like, oh, uh, she's one of my style um, icons. But yeah, so yeah, y'all, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, if you like videos like this, let me know and I'll keep making them. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.